Hey, what's up guys? T-Max here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to this mini series that I've been doing on all the cultural observations that I've made over the last three years. If you haven't checked out the other videos, go ahead and do that after you watch this video, after you hit subscribe, after you hit like, after you share, after you comment, and we can start talking about today's topic. So let's talk about women and relationships. So there's this thing called Sha Bai Tan, which is usually used as negative, but there's also Ke Ai, and both of these just refer to adult women behaving like children, like cute, like girly or whatever. And Ke Ai is also very popular in Japan. You see it in anime. I can't stand this Ke Ai behavior. It's, it's so irritating. Like if I want to hang out with children, I'll go be an English teacher for children. I don't want the girl that I'm trying to date or hang out with to behave like a child the whole time. And it's also very confusing because they're behaving like little girls, but they're dressed like women. And especially in summer, here in Beijing, women dress very, as we would say in the West, provocative or risque. But it's interesting because the dress does not really match the personality or the behavior because they'll dress like mini skirts or you know, spaghetti strap and halter top and this type of clothing. But in general, Chinese women, in my experience, are very conservative. They're not so flirtatious or seductive or provocative. They just dress that way. They're also very quick to comment on your appearance. And not just Chinese women, everybody in general will immediately compliment you saying that you're beautiful or handsome. This is the first compliment. It's never like, oh, you look smart or cool clothes. But if a girl dressed very provocatively and acting like a little kid is like, oh, you're so handsome. It's like, what? What is happening here? It's, I know you're probably thinking, well, you know, maybe there's more to it. And maybe this is just their way of flirting, but it's so basic. And if you like try to flirt beyond that, you don't really get much in response. There's no reciprocity. There's no banter. It's just like, that's their one comment. You're handsome. Are we gonna date now? I'm clearly not a dating expert here in China. And so I used to share an apartment with five girls. I shared a bathroom with three of them. It seems that despite, you know, them being very shy and conservative, when it comes to bodily things, and I mentioned this in another video, Chinese people don't seem to be reserved at all. When you dispose of your lady products, like do it in your room or throw it in, like package it so I don't have to see it. I had three roommates who decided to match and sync cycles and they would fill up our garbage can and there's no clandestinity. It was like, hey, you know, it's that time of the month for us. And like my garbage can was overflowing with things that you don't want to see and there's no shame. Okay, I have to move. So looking specifically at couples, you know they're in a relationship. There's two things that I see all the time. One is the couples will dress alike. They have the same outfit on, they look alike, they look like twins. And this is very popular, especially among young people. If you go to the mall, you know who's a couple. And the second thing is you see men carrying the woman's purse. This is not like, hey, babe, hold my purse real quick so I can tie my shoes. This is the man walking through the mall, through the store, holding her purse, you know, over his arm or in his hand or whatever, and he's holding it the whole time. Like, she'll even be like, hand me something. He's opening the purse, like giving her stuff. So it's his purse now, but it's not his purse because this is clearly a woman's purse. And you won't see a whole bunch of public displays of affection. You know, I'm in Beijing, which is a major city, and you see it every now and again, but it's nothing like in the West. Unless, of course, you're in, you know, like a bar or a location where everybody's probably doing that. But just on the streets and in the main areas in the neighborhood, probably not going to see any PDA. So let's talk about just women in general. Um, one thing that I've noticed here in China is that they like to wear this like plastic strip above their eyelids so that it gives them a double eyelid. And this double eyelid apparently is a standard of beauty that they want to achieve. And I've talked to a few of them about it and they try to explain it and it just, it doesn't make sense to me. So if you can explain it better, you can leave a comment below. Tell us why Chinese girls want to have a double eyelid and they'll wear this plastic thing that you can see and it's super distracting because it's like, that's not a double eyelid. You have a plastic thing and it makes your eyeball look weird. And of course, you know, my friends in the West are always asking me like, oh, you know, how do, how are the women? How do they look? And, uh, and the women are beautiful here. There's beautiful women, in my opinion, everywhere in the world, different 
people have different genetics and different types of bodies and faces and stuff like that. Here, I always make two jokes. There's not much junk in the trunk, meaning the girls here do not have big butts, uh, even if they're uh, overweight. Another thing I say is uh, the girls here are like a bucket of dark meat chicken. No breasts. In general, the boobs here are just smaller than they are in the West. And another thing that I've noticed uh, a lot more here than in any other place I've ever lived is the club thumb. It's like where the thumb is like a little bit smaller, the thumbnail, I guess. So all the fingers are regular size and then the thumbnail is really small and the thumb is a little bit fatter. It also could be on the big toe. And in the West, I've never seen, never met a person like that. Megan Fox, who's a famous actress, she was the first person I've ever seen. She has it on one hand. The women here do not expect a whole bunch of chivalry from men. Like if you're going into a store or something, like women are not expecting a man to open the door. They're not expecting a man to pull out a chair. You know, a lot of things like in the West that we say, oh, be a gentleman. The women here are not expecting. If you do it, they might, you might even confuse them. They might be like, oh, oh, okay, that's what you're doing for me? Because it's just not a thing here. And when you do, they're always like confused. I'm like, oh yeah, you can sit here. And they're like, but why? What's wrong with the seat? Sometimes they might think that you're hitting on them. So they just won't even know, like, I don't want it. It's like, okay, wow. These newer generations of women are waiting longer to get married or not marrying at all. And it's just apparently driving the older generation crazy because they're like, no, you have to get married. Like, you know, marriage is the ultimate goal, which is very strange because religion is not so important here and there's no like tax benefits to marriage. So a lot of times when you date a girl, she'll say after a few weeks or after a month or so, like, hey, you know, where's this going? Are we looking at marriage? And it's like, wow, we just met. But they're receiving pressure from their parents, probably their mom and grandma. So the flip side of this is now more than ever, a lot of Chinese people are getting divorced because, you know, they're, you know, branching away from those old cultural traditions and they're deciding, hey, you know, we married because we were forced to, we didn't really love each other. You know, we need to move on. So the divorce rate here is going up quite a bit. I can tell you what I see what I think they think is beautiful, just based on looking at women's selfies. You know, you go through people's social media, you see all these selfie pictures, you see, you know, people, the celebrities and movie stars, what their cell photos look like. And in all these selfies, there's three things that I often see. Number one is having the whitest skin possible. So this just goes back to, you know, if you're working in the field, you're poor, if you're, you know, royalty or whatever, you're in the shade. Okay, I get it, but like they are obsessed with white skin. They have all these products and you know, I've made other videos about this when you go outside like they're like in full body armor because they do not want to get dark and it'd be a beautiful day. The second thing that's very common is they want to have huge eyes. So they use the filter or whatever and it just makes their eyes go like this. And so they look super surprised or almost alien. And the other thing is they like to have a tapered jaw and then the top of the head. So just look at the alien emoji and imagine that the gray part is white and that's kind of what I think they think is beautiful. Okay, so for all you expats here in China, what do you see about relationships, women, or even men, what do you see? Go ahead and leave a comment below, let us know. And if you're new to the channel, remember to like and subscribe and you can also leave comments as well. And keep following because there's a lot more videos about all these cultural observations that I've been having over the last three years. I'll see you in the next video.